Hey, church family, today's day three of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. If you are just joining us, we're using the Lord's Prayer as a model for our prayer time on this first week. When Jesus taught the followers, his followers to pray, he said, After this manner pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So at the beginning of the prayer, Jesus teaches us to first praise our Father's name followed by praying for his purposes and his priorities to be accomplished. So that's what we did yesterday and the day before. Today, I want us to focus on the third part of the prayer, and that is God's provision. Jesus said, give us this day our daily bread. Now, I understand that for many of us, we may not need daily bread. If you're anything like us, you have food in your house sufficient for today. You may not like what's there, but it's there. The same is true of our bank accounts. While we may not have all we want, we have enough to live today. But that doesn't mean that we still don't need to seek his face for daily provision. We need daily strength, daily grace, daily mercy, daily guidance. And it is a daily dependence upon our Heavenly Father to give us exactly what we need, exactly when we need it. Pastor H.B. Charles said, Prayer is arguably the most objective measurement of our dependence upon God. Think of it this way, he says. The things you pray about are the things you trust God to handle. The things you neglect to pray about are the things you trust that you can handle on your own. May it be said of us that we are fully dependent upon and fully reliant on our God to provide exactly what we need, exactly when we need it. Let's pray. Father, as we bow, God, we acknowledge that you are King and Lord and Sovereign. Lord, we we pray that our prayer would be first focused on your priorities and your purposes, that they may be accomplished on earth as it is in heaven. May we be about your business, loving you with all of our heart, all of our soul, all our mind, loving one another, and seeking to share the glorious news of the gospel to people that we live near and work with and play with. Lord, I pray that you would provide for us our daily bread. Lord, we need daily strength, daily provision. God, we need daily mercies. God, we're grateful that your mercies are new and fresh every morning. Great is your faithfulness as the old song goes and as the scripture says. Father, we trust that you would provide for our church. God, I pray that you provide for every family. Lord, we know that there are people in our uh, church family that are going through difficult financial situations. Lord, I pray that you would provide for them. Father, we know that there's anxiety and worry that uh, for some in our church family. So, Father, I pray that your daily grace would provide and sustain them today. Lord, we're looking to the future on decisions that we need to make. And, Lord, we pray for daily guidance. Lord, I pray for provision financially for our church as it, as it relates to the potential building. Lord, I pray that you would give us wisdom and grace. Lord, I pray that you would provide. Lord, you own the cattle on a thousand hills. And Lord, we trust you to provide exactly what we need, exactly when we need it. So Lord, I pray that you would help us to depend upon you today in you and you alone. For yours is the glory, the power, and the greatness. We exalt you. We lift your name on high for you're grand and glorious, and we acknowledge you as King and Lord. Father, thank you for this time that we can have in prayer. I pray your blessings upon those uh, who are participating. May you strengthen us. May you guide us today as we lay aside certain things, lay aside sugar, lay aside social media, lay aside uh, even meals for the purpose of diving into your presence and spending time with you in prayer over these matters. We love you. We pray your blessings be upon our church for your glory, that your name may be known around the earth. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.